everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how to tape sheetrock. Now, I set this up just for us. We're going to do some ceiling corners. We're going to do the inside corner. We're going to do the flats and, of course, the nails. In this whole video, I'm going to show you how to tape by colors using different color joint compound. Pretty neat, right? But it'd be a lot easier to show you. But before we get even going on the tape, First thing we want to do is make sure that all our nails or screws are actually under, you know, embedded uh, in the sheetrock there. You know, not embedded, but you know what I'm talking about. Now look, if you look right here, I can see where a nail actually had uh, ripped through the paper. A little too much pressure on it perhaps. And if you push into it, you can see that it's moving. So in order to fix that, we want to just put another nail right next to it, even maybe another one another inch or two higher than next we want this we don't want any movement on the sheetrock and over here we actually did a little damage putting the sheetrock up maybe on purpose to show you and if you look this paper is actually loose it doesn't look that bad you think we can just cover it up but when you have loose paper like that definitely just want to grab a utility knife and just cut the paper out that's loose Cut it out just like that. You want to get rid of it. Garbage. Anything loose, okay? Like that. Okay? It's, it's not loose. It's nailed in good still. But we don't want to leave that paper. So we're just going to fill that tape right over that and all that. Hope. Oh, let me mix some uh, joint compound up and we'll get going on the first coat. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is the highs, which is our ceiling to our wall corners. And we have our blue joint compound. Pretty cool, huh? This is how I put it on. I don't care anybody else. This is how I put it on. I've got my knife. This is a six inch knife. I put a little bit like that. Make a nice big mess. Start from this because I'm lefty. So I start from the left side and just smooch it on like that. Keep going like that. When you're putting the mud on for your first coat, Make sure you're wide enough, at least as wide as the tape, a little bit wider, and that you have a good coverage. One thing you don't want to do is be chinzy on putting it on. You want to have enough on there. Don't worry, we're going to get it back. I'll show you that in a second. All right, so this is how we're going to put the mud. And you see like right here, see what I just did? I scraped a little too much and I got a bare spot. No good. You're going to get those bubbles in that tape. Hello. Ah, and be careful on the ladders. <laughs> I'm back. Okay. Now, inside, this is what we're doing. This is for our first coat. We're going to put enough of this mud on that we can start putting some tape on. And you don't want to wait that long because, you know, that compound starts drying right away. And you don't want to do what's called a flash dry where you start getting the crust over it. That's no good. So you don't want to wait incredibly long. So just like this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and, and coat the rest of this and I'll show you how we put the tape on. Okay, I went ahead and taped all my corners. I'm going to show you how to use the tape. All right, I went ahead and put our joint compound on all our inside corners to our inside here, to our ceiling. Now I'm going to put tape on it. Tape comes in lots of different uh, forms. The tape is actual, it's not sticky tape, just so you know. It's just a paper, okay? It's a thick paper, and this is what we use. Real simple, it's real easy. And this is where a lot of people screw up because they think they're trying to build a masterpiece. You're not building a masterpiece. You're taping a freaking sheetrock wall, okay? Get the tape. Uh, it's about that long. Get it. Rip it. The tape automatically comes with a crease inside of it, which makes things a lot easier when you try to fold it and go like that. Voila, you see? Okay, nice, simple. Put it up in the corner, doesn't have to be tight, you know, but nice, like that. And then just spread it with your hands like that. Make it look good, fine, don't touch it anymore. Okay, now we're gonna go to the next one. Like that, fold it, stick it in, get my bald head in your way here. Bom, bom. Just make sure that crease is actually in the corner there, okay? Now, we're going to go to the, the inside. Now, we want this whole inside, being that it's eight feet, well, we want that tape, the whole entire length on it. You know, tape's cheap. 
So don't buy, don't, don't try to be cheap and like cut it too short, okay? So who cares? What the whole roll cost? Two, three dollars? Just like that. Here we go. Up against it, not over it, because can't go over it because it doesn't have any mud on it. And the same thing. Just stick it in, get off my ladder here. All the way down, you can see that I made it too long. Okay, cut it, throw it away. Don't ever use it again. Okay, now the tape is in place, but of course it still looks like poopy. So now we have to clean it and straighten it out all with the knife with no mud on it. Stop. Okay, now I have my knife. Now when you're putting the mud on, put it on with your freaking fingers, who cares, okay? But taking it off, keeping everything nice and beautiful, it's when you want to use a good taping knife. A good taping knife is under 10 bucks. Go buy one. All right? It makes the world of a difference. This is a 6 inch. I like to use a 4 inch when I'm doing this. But unfortunately, um, while moving everything uh, over here for this video, I actually dropped the 4 inch and it got ruined. So I'm just going to use a 6 inch. Then use a uh, shovel if you want. It really doesn't matter as long as you're good at it. So, you know... Uh, how about I just place that tape on? Now, real simple, real fast, we're going to clean it all up. Put your knife in against that corner. A little, you know, it's got some pressure on there. Because now, see, we just took all that extra off. Hit the top. And there we go. Got it all off. So, all that extra that we put in there. Um, I didn't like the way that looked, a little folded there. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and just do the rest. Just like that. Fold the knife. So you can actually see by the blue here of what we're uh, doing, of how much mud I have on it and not. Oop, got a little screw up there. Let me straighten that right out. Some extra mud there, and, and we all look pretty good. Now, a little bit more pressure on that one, seeing that tape might not have. So, always give it a nice look. Make sure that inside corner, make sure everything is good there. And clean it up. Now, that's our first coat on our corners. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the mud on our flats here to show you how to do that. Okay, our inside corners are done. Now we're going to do the flats. The flats, they're pretty easy. Make sure you put enough mud on. You can go right over that fresh first coat right there and just lay enough in. You see how I do that? Sometimes I just do it so fast I don't realize what I'm doing. Put the mud on the, on the knife and I'll go and I'll go like that first, instead of putting it on and going, because then you make a, make, make this big giant mess. But we just want to clean your knife, that's important. I just get that. You're not putting a lot of pressure, because the more pressure you put on, you're going to start taking that mud off, which makes a problem. Okay, now we're going to go back over on this side here, and we're going to do the same before I run out of my special joint compound mix. Now, see, these are factory edges. I almost forgot to tell you about that. Ooh, I'm getting, getting blue stuff all over me. Um, these are the factory edges, meaning this is how the sheetrock came. It's actually beveled in here, which I'll see, I'll get a better shot of that in a second. They're beveled in to let, let you accommodate for the, this mud and the tape and all that, so it makes things a lot easier. But now, and you'll have these doing sheetrock work, which are called the butt ends. These are just flat cut, and you can actually maybe even feel, might have a little lip on that. These are harder to tape, but not if you just follow some simple instructions. Definitely don't want to be cheap on the, on the joint compound. We want to build this up, okay? So I'm going to show you the same exact way. Just like that, but we're going to need more compound. Okay, you can see? And that's you know, pretty thin there, okay? So I'm gonna get some more of our blue compound, which will be our first color, and we'll show you how to tape this up. Okay, now we're ready to take our mud off of our flats here. And the same way 
when we did the uh, did the inside corners, except we're just going to hit it all at once. Just like that. Nice and flat, and you see, got some extra mud there. Sometimes, like you, you can see how nice it and cover it, we put a little too much on. Oh, just take it off. It's not, doing the first coats are, they're, they're easy, okay, they really are. And I already spent more time on that one than I need to do, so I'm, let me just go ahead and do these real fast, and I'll just, just watch and I'll show you how I'm doing it. Okay, now all our flats are taped, the inside corners are taped on the first coat. Now, this is normally when we'll go and start doing our nail holes. What are you doing while you're there? Whatever. Okay. One thing I can tell you, when you put the screws in the nails, you're putting so many of them, sometimes you, you miss a few where they're not all the way in, and you'll notice that right away when you go to tape it, because you have like a little boom, hiccup in it. No good. I use the same... Well, I put these in with uh, with nails, uh, so I'm going to use the same uh, hammer. I go over them like this. It's real fast. If I feel or hear the nail or screw, well, I know I'm certainly going to see it when I go to tape it. I just go over it like that. I just good. If if you heard it, like I don't really hear that one, but if what if you had to uh, push it in a little bit. Use a hammer, even if it's a screw. You could bang a screw in a little bit with that. Just give it a nice shot so you're not uh, uh, sticking out anymore. Again, with the mud, you're you're you're, you're going to be taping this two more times at least, so you're you're going to put more coats on. But your first one for your nails or your screws, just real simple, like that, and then scrape back off, like that, scrape back off. Okay. That's what you're doing on your very first one. And the second one, we're going to fill it in even more. Okay? Anyway, this is how we tape the first coat. Now, we're going to let this dry and come back tomorrow and put our second coat on, of course, with a different color.